Hi, and welcome to Brizzy. And we are back to design basics. Whereas things may change and software may change, the idea behind design basics is that designs and the basics behind it, they don't change. Today, we're talking a little bit about contrast. And actually, if you've seen a lot of my videos, you will know I often hammer on this concept of contrast. But what is it and what exactly do we mean by it? What do we want to achieve when we tell you, hey, you need some contrast here? I'm going to give you three tips or three rules regarding contrast here. And the first one is all about legibility. Legibility is about the ability to read something, see something very well for something to stand out. Here I have a background and I have text on it. And if I go to my background up here to overlay and I increase the background with this slider here and the picker all the way to the top, as I increase it, you can see we lose legibility. The ability to read that word slowly goes away until we can't see it anymore. Now, one of the things that you may not know and is that this color picker up here actually has a specific way of doing things. Here in the left top hand corner, it is 100% white. And in the bottom left hand corner, everything is 100% black. And between these two, moving the slider, you get variations, you get tints and shades of this. You go from white all the way to black. Now, by playing with this slider, what you begin to understand is when you have extreme white on the one hand compared to black on the other hand, you can read very well. And that is what you want is legibility. So the more contrast, the more difference there is between the very light, which is white, and your text, which is very dark, the more easier it will be for people to read it. And I've just increased it a little bit. Can people still read it? Why, yes, of course they can still read it. But the legibility has just gone down a tad. And the more I bring it closer to black, the more you're going to struggle to read it until eventually you're not going to be able to read it at all. That is rule one. Contrast is about legibility. Legibility is about the amount between the very lightest and the very darkest. The bigger that amount, the better you can read things. This is very normal. It's actually built into us. We learn that when we go to school, you write with a blue or a black pen on a piece of white paper, and you just learn that it is very legible. Coming into website design, we often work with something like this, which is a euro image in a euro block. And this is where many people fall flat. You have to evaluate the average or the basics or the more prominent feature of your image and decide, is it light or dark? In this case, it's easy. It's light. Even though we have this peak here, it's still legible. We can still see the C. If we click on the text and we change the text to white, now you see we have a little bit of trouble reading it because now the difference between the background and the text is not that big. The two are both light very close to each other. In the next case, we have the opposite. We have a dark background and our text is also dark. Yes, we can still read it, but it actually takes us a moment to fully realize what we are reading. In this case, putting it on white, which is going to be the opposite of the background, is going to make it very easy to read. That's all about rule one. Let's talk about rule two and rule three. Here I have a very average background, which means my light and my dark is kind of averaged out, but yet I can still read this title very well. And the reason I can read it very well is because of the font weight. The font weight is how thick these lines are. If I click on it, go to topography, you will see the weight over here. And it's currently set to black, which is extremely thick. Opposite of black is what we get over here, light or thin. If I select thin, you suddenly realize now it's not as easy reading that as it used to be previously. And that's rule two. 
the thickness, the weight of a font will also determine legibility. The thicker it is, the easier it is to read it. You have more contrast. But when it goes thin like this, you have a problem and then you will need to find a different solution. The third rule is this paragraph below it. The smaller the letters, the more difficult it is if you don't have enough contrast. Let's go through those three again. The first is contrast. Contrast is about legibility. How much difference between light and dark. And the more difference there is, the better you can read it. Second, there is more contrast when your weight is thicker. When your weight is thin like this, you lose some of that contrast. And the third one is bigger fonts mean bigger contrast. Small fonts like this, where you cannot see what's going on, very difficult to read. In this case, you need to make a decision. You need to apply an overlay. If you want to keep it black, your background needs to be the opposite, which is light. So we go to an overlay, we select white, and we increase the contrast and it becomes much easier to read. Or you can go the opposite. Let's put all of this on white. And now you have to go to your overlay, put it on black, and make sure you have enough contrast in the back. Hope that was useful. You're in Design Basics with Brizzy. From me, JP, have a great day and stay safe.